The Socialist and Democratic parties agree to reduce spending during election campaigns, declaring the lack of transparency in funding an unacceptable phenomenon that causes electoral and political corruption. Portara is just one of the villages flooded in the municipality of Fier, but unlike the others are facing a big problem regarding space and food for livestock. Families who use a water well via a service offered by the water supplier will pay a tax, although the rate has not been set, it has been declared that it will be minimal. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Tuesday the 6th of February 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. The Socialist and Democratic parties have found common ground regarding the reduction of spending for electoral campaigns. Even though the Special Parliamentary Commission for the Electoral Reform is having difficulties making progress, at the conference organised by the Council of Europe, the parties expressed their readiness to improve the laws. Meanwhile, CEC Chairman Clement Zaguri underlined that it is unacceptable to continue talking about buying votes. The development of luxury election campaigns and the lack of transparency over political financing is an unacceptable phenomenon for a small country like Albania, as it feeds election and political corruption. It also affects the public confidence in elections and democracy as a whole, said Clement Seguri. SP representative Blendi Chuchi stated that work is being done to create the appropriate legislation, adding that excessive spending needs to be reduced. DPMP Oer Bulukbashi had the same opinion as Chuchi, but stressed once again that vote buying should not be allowed. Illegal money circulating in the Albanian market is at extraordinary levels. This phenomenon has influenced the election results. Political party spending during the electoral period should be reduced. Another problem is that instances of vote buying have not been punished despite denunciations by the DP, exclaimed Bulukbashi. It was noted that during the 25 June parliamentary elections, political parties did respect the law by ensuring banners and flags were not displayed in the streets. The reports denounce violations in regards to the transparency of spending. The former head of Korch's property registration office, Klaidi Terova, was one of the directors who resigned the day after Prime Minister Eddie Rama made such a request on June 28, 2017. Following his initial call for the directors to step down, Prime Minister, the Prime Minister then entrusted the Ministry of Justice, at that time led by Guzman Bardi, to conduct investigations to verify the conduct by the directors during their time in charge of their offices. Violations and irregularities in the office headed by Tarova were discovered, as well as discrepancies amounting to the value of 40 million lek in the budget. Based on this evidence, the action of discharge from duty had been taken against him. Despite having resigned, Klaidi Terova accused the Ministry of Justice of illegally terminating his employment contract, arguing that the act of resigning was not of his free will, but came only as a result of the Prime Minister's request. I requested resignation even though it did not represent my will. My sole motivation was the basis of the Prime Minister's request. I did not resign as an admittance to the accusations made by the Prime Minister, reads the lawsuit of Klaidi Terova. The Korcha Court has decided on the issue in favour of the former head of the property office, providing compensation equal to 10 monthly salaries, amounting to over 1 million lek. Organisations working with vulnerable groups require that the procedures to benefit from social housing be simplified. In the Parliamentary Committee on Social Issues where legal changes are discussed, interest groups think that there should be fewer documents for beneficiaries since the poor and homeless are identified by the respective municipalities. The improved draft arrived in parliamentary committees in 2017 and was prepared by experts from the former Urban Development Ministry. Former Minister Eglantina Germani stated that the proposals made for the reduction of bureaucracy have been taken into account, as well as the models of European countries followed. The proposals, have interest groups, the proposals from interest groups have been taken into account, said Germani. 
The draft decision helps the homeless, the poor and families affected by natural disasters through six support programs, including social housing, soft loans and temporary housing constructions. There are 35,000 families in need in our country who have applied to benefit from the housing program. Tirana is in at the top of the list with a total of 13,000. The actors from the successful recent performance of Shakespeare's The Twelfth Night, which played on the stage of the Metropolitan Theatre, along with the director, Yonida Becho, and well-known actors, Marietta Lariai and Gaz Paya, joined the mayor of Tirana, Arion Veliai, in planting 45 mimosa trees at the Artificial Lake Park. Mayor Veliai thanked them for their contribution and emphasised that the planting of mimosas gave the park more greenery and allowed the city to breathe better. I am grateful today to all the artists, both those who are icons of the Albanian scene and also the young up-and-coming artists, to the whole cast of the Metropolitan Theatre's production of The Twelfth Night, to the professors and students of the Academy of Arts, who all joined us today to plant 45 mimosa trees in the lake park, said Erion Veliai. Famous actress of Albanian theatre and film, Marietta Lariaria, praised the initiative and said that planting a tree today serves tomorrow. I have been very pleased with this initiative and though it might look small in its appearance, it's a miracle for today and tomorrow. Let's start with beautiful things, simple in appearance, and let's get away from this political turmoil, turmoil she said. Meanwhile, Mayor Veliai said that through this act, all artists give a clear message to every responsible citizen who becomes part of the action, contributing to a better city for tomorrow. There are actors here who have held many important roles that have made them national icons. I believe that the message we give today is the most important role, one we all play, the role of the citizen. When we all behave like professionals, as citizens who feel, understand, engage and take responsibility for even small things like planting a tree, we send a fantastic message during these troubled times, said Arion Veliai. Comedian Guzman Paya emphasised that there is no better thing for the future of the city than planting a tree. There is no greater pleasure than waking up in the morning and the first task to complete is to plant a tree. We are enjoying the pleasure of the morning and the contribution we are giving with a tree, but this tree has more value than just for this morning and what we are doing now, said Paya. Water is withdrawing from the upper villages of Fier after accumulating in the Darzeza area where a pump, pumping station will move it to sea. The water flow is high, having flooded land and houses in the village of Hojara. The situation bears quite a resemblance to that which the, news, the Aura news cameras showed you in early December 2017. 200 hectares of land and eight flats have been flooded in Darzeza where a big problem for the residents is the lack of living space for livestock. Despite the devastating situation, the floods have brought an increased presence of water birds, seemingly the only ones enjoying the scene. The consequences in the village with the 400 families are the same as last December, and the required solutions are also the same. Residents seek help as they face the traumatic occurrence of having lost everything for the second time in just two months. The government will impose a tax on families who use water from wells. During presentation of the draft law to the Production Activities Commission, Director of Water Policies and Resources, Arben Pambuku, said that there will be fees for consumers in cases where families receive the service from the water supplier. According to the government, the fees will be minimal and the aim is to formalise underground waters. Fees will be set for family wells where the, the water supplier provides the service, said Pambuku. The opposition demanded that families and farmers be exempt from the tax, but this was rejected by the majority. The Socialist Movement for Integration suggested the rejection of the draft by stating that they will vote against it. Edmond Panariti said that such a tax cannot be imposed on farmers when there are no investments in the water supply system. The SMI will not allow additional taxes for farmers, declared Panariti. Within six months of the law coming into force, entities that will use wells should be registered. If this deadline is not respected, they will have to pay fines ranging from 500,000 lek to 2 million lek.
And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.